Well, who'd have thought? My guest is Mark McGee. I can remember Mark playing as a footballer. I can remember you as a manager. Um, but I can never remember you as someone who is a gamer. But suddenly, uh, Puzzler's name game is your brainchild. Yeah, well, I, you know, I've always been someone who's enjoyed uh, Scrabble and word games, Sudoku, um, all those sort of games, you know, crosswords. Um, and this was a game that goes all the way back to um, we're playing days when bored out our minds and the bus created a game that passed the time between Aberdeen and uh, Glasgow and uh, resurrected it recently in the last sort of few years down at uh, Mar Hall with uh, Gordon Strachan where we got a little bit bored of Scrabble. Uh, we did another game at this and I came away thinking actually there might be mileage in this and from that point on we launched you know um, the name game uh, into the into the market and it's been received brilliantly. Yeah, well, I have to say to you, Mark, on an individual basis, just trying it, the great word that I think every gamer wants to hear is addictive. And it is addictive because it, it kind of forces your mind into the celebrity of today and it also actually tests you on your spelling. Yeah, well, it's not just about celebrity of today. You know, the sports, you know, sportsmen, uh, um, historical figures, anyone at all that's going to warrant the sort of level that, for instance, if you would get a mention in uh, Wikipedia, the likelihood is you it'll be a correct answer. You know, but again, it's you know anyone can play it. The children can play it because they can pick and choose the initials that represent you know the the the, the TV characters and the the, the people that they know. Um, so, you know, it's a, a, across all ages and uh, it is challenging, you know, as you've seen yourself, it's not straightforward. People look at it sometimes and think it's going to be easy. It's not easy. OK, let's get to the crux of the matter for any gamers out there or anybody who just loves to play something to while away a few minutes, a few hours here and there. Tell us, what's the background to it? How do you play it and how do you win? Yeah, well, the, 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 the game that's been published now um, has three versions within the game. There's an endurance, which allows you to answer 500 sets of initials over as long a period as you like. So you can take your time doing that one to achieve as high a score as you possibly can, which goes on a global scoreboard. Then you've got um, the quickfire game, which is a five minute game, which is timed. And the, answer, the idea is that you score as many points and score as many right answers as you can in that five minutes while the clock is ticking. And the third one that's on it, um, the hot seat, is one where you and I uh, have the opportunity to play one answer and then I pass the, the device to you. You do one answer, you've got time and it's all timed and if you run out of time, it passes back to me and it's just a case of who scores the most out of the 16 sets of initials that are presented on an initial score, uh, uh, scoreboard. And of course, that's, that's the real key to it all. You're just basically looking at blocks with initials on it and you've got to try and put a name that is recognised it could be regionally, it could be, you know, in you know one particular country or globally. Yeah, well, the, the, the game is out in six languages. You know, it's out in English, German, French, Spanish, Italian and Brazilian Portuguese. Um, all of the advertisement within the game is regionalised, you know, so if you buy the, the, the English version in India, you'll get Indian adverts, you won't get, the, you know, adverts from Scotland or from England. Um, all of that's kind of taken care of as best we can at the moment and that will continue to be upgraded. Um, but, you know, the answers are the same, you know, the, 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 the level of um, a, a database in there is huge. You know, so just about every um, conceivable answer that meets the criteria for a right answer should be in there. Yeah, I'm almost certain that it will grow arms and legs once you start to come up with different categories as the popularity of this, uh, and I'm almost certain it will become really popular. Um, but over and above that, I think the other key element that a lot of people will like is it's not specifically geared towards a certain type of person, a certain age. Absolutely, you know, I think that uh, anyone who enjoyed word games at any age um, and I, I think actually it's quite educational as well and we'll be looking at aspects of that to, in the future to see how we can embrace that. But, you know, it forces you, for instance, to be able to spell properly the names properly because if you don't spell it right, you don't get the right, you don't get the points. So you have to learn to spell the names right, you know. So even that sort of thing is good, you know, good discipline for people, for children, uh, for anyone at all to make sure that they know how to spell the, the, the names correctly. Okay, as a player, I, you know, I'm happy 
uh, you know, with a smile on her face one day getting Bastian Schweinsteiger and spelling it correctly? Is there one that you actually sat there and thought, well, I invented the game. I'm happy that I was able to answer that one. Well, I think that I would not have attempted to spell that, and I couldn't even today. Um, I think that's a magnificent effort of you've managed to um, to spell that correctly. Um, I, I don't know what, what I've avoided. Um, anywhere there's a kind of um, um, a Frank that's um, you know a C or a K, or there's a Francis, and there's a, or there's a Lewis that's an E W or a, anything where there can be two. Kind of versions of I try and try and avoid and take the, the uh, take an alternative and go for an alternative answer. Well, uh, listen, the final point here, and I think it's down to you on this. How do we get it? That's what everybody wants to know. Tell us how can you get this game? Well, it's on every platform. You know, it's on iOS for iPhones. It's on uh, tablets. Uh, on, on on Android. It's on uh, Microsoft Windows. Um, any of the app stores, Google. Uh, Microsoft and uh, uh, of course the Apple Store um, any of them you go there and it's puzzler name game and if you search that you'll find it